Alrighty, let's watch this in full first. Beg your pardon? Forgot to knock. <laughs> so good. Alright, I think overall it's fantastic. I still really, really love it. I wonder if we could push the timing into a slightly more cartoony realm, just with some uh, pushed timing elements. By that I mean... Like this is... This is all cool. It's also time to the sound. Uh, I hope you have controls to fix intersections and stuff like that. It's cool, and I like the, the pushing down with a slight pause there. That's all cool, and I like the, the timing of opening up, holding it a little bit, and then going through. I think that's very cool. Also, already detailed stuff on the fingers on that door. So the first thing to me would be... There's something where, and this is, might just be me, but... When he comes in for the punch, and this is going to be accentuated once you spline this, I would do a punch with a couple things. A, you're coming in the straight line, and it feels like we're coming out fairly in a straight line as well, where this fist just goes back and only at the end goes down, which is good for silhouette. Here's my, my, my thing here. Would you consider that you start here, and then with that punch, you have a little bit of a twist so that we see more of the side of that punch, maybe here. Basically, you have a frame or two linger of that of that punch there, of that fist. <laughs> maybe a frame. I mean, it's tricky, but I would just play once you spline it that he punches with a translate this way and a rotation of that wrist and forearm that way. But what I would do then is zip out faster. I think we can cut out these two frames, this and this, and maybe only have this. That's my only thing. And especially maybe cut out this and this. To me, it feels like keep this and take out this. So it's a, a zip in, slight hold, zip out. Because it's almost like I'm seeing too much. I feel like once we spline this, we see too much of him. Uh, here's my reasoning. You have this, and it's fast, and then ta -da, that's the quick second entrance with the big surprise. Oh, that's what it was. Where we almost know too much of what that punch was and by whom and what that person looks like. It's very subjective, but that's kind of my thought for that. This will be for spliny stuff where maybe you want to do ah, when he gets punched here that you push the nose up so it's kind of like where it's that face goes sideways but imagine it has a bit of a dip and then up just a bit more complex in that turn and the timing thing the overall timing thing i was mentioning before is what if you go and it's almost a bit of a faster turn it's kind of and then you have that hold a longer hold on the body but the head goes back a bit and then a bit of a faster drop in the body. So instead of doing pair drop, it would be that type of thing. And I'm really talking about three or four frames, or maybe two or three from two or three more frames. Um, taking out in terms of, of just pushing the timing, where it's just ever so slightly pushed of faster hold, faster drop, just a bit. <laughs> Because I think you can also afford it by coming down maybe a frame or two soon because of the sounds. Not that it's a killer. I think that should be fine. But I think just timing wise, I wonder what it would look like if you had a fa fa that type of thing. <laughs> this is still great. I love this with the sound. That's all great. I love the look here. I love how quickly you get up there and get against the wall. Beg your pardon. And I love all this. I love the poses, how you switch over. The very distinguished little hand pose there. Opening up here, looking down. 
That hop is great. Pardon? Forgotten. And it's great with the audio too. Pardon? With that little inhale that, that happens while he jumps. Forgot to knock. And then you mentioned in your email that you wanted to try, you tried to put in the arrogant look, but then you put it here during the knock, which I think is totally fine. Forgot to knock. So probably you can't see the other eye, but then again, he's like me, he's got a big nose. It's a bit tricky, but I will probably cheat this. I mean, he's down here lower, like he's looking here. I would just cheat the iris or the pupil here-ish. That's a horrible example. Maybe here. A, so we see more, so it's not so so edgy there. And a bit more pretending that it's actually looking down. Forgot to knock. And I love this. I love that he has that. Ha uh ha. -huh. That look. And then into that more serious look is ready and back for action there. Beg your pardon. Forgot to knock. Forgot to knock. I wonder once we spline this, maybe you have to add three or four more frames to this with a slight hold or leaning over and then leaning back or just leaning, moving hold, and then cut. I don't know. Knock. I think it's great. I just wonder if we need, like I said, three, two, three or four frames. I don't know if it needs a little bit or just enough of a beat to really read this and mainly to enjoy it. I think it's such a cool change going from here to here. I wonder if we could, but you already have the sounds turning off. So you might as well add a couple more frames to really linger on this. And maybe you can have, like I said, a bit of a, with this, that's a bit of a move and then a bit of a hold and almost shifting weight going this way. And again, this is not enough. You can't shift weights in four frames, but I just wonder, can we hold this couple more frames to really enjoy this? And I wonder if you want to, it's nice and subtle. Again, not that this is a killer. I'm just curious, what if we ch push this smile by like 15%? So there's a slight bigger contrast of smile to serious, because they're fairly similar. But it works. Like I'm always a fan of subtleties, but this is not, again, not the shock kill. I'm just curious, throwing it out there. You can decide if you want to push this smile just a bit more. And I don't know if you need to push this eyebrow, but curve this one, maybe just a tad more. For contrast again, because you're so serious here. Hmm, but you have the heightening. You have this here. Hold Forgot on. To knock. No, I think it's fine. I don't know. I was I'm wrong. Because you have that already here. That's the transitional phase into the series. So no no, I take it back. That's all good. To knock. And actually the same with the smile. Sorry, I was lingering here and I should have should have lingered here. To knock. No, then ignore everything I said. Everything's awesome. Forgot to knock. And then as you spline this, I think you still want to do maybe a frame or two offset just because it's animation. You want to offset things and be careful with twinning. But it's great. Again, I'm just at this point rambling. It's a really, really cool shot. I love seeing this every time. So cool. All right, thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.